Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to the new tutorial from the uh, SketchUp Arc Studio. So, before we start this tutorial, please like and subscribe our YouTube channel and let's get to work. We have some type of simple villa in here with some type of solar panels on the uh, roof and you can see the fine details in there. So, I want to create some super realistic exterior render but I don't know how. First of all, I'm gonna press F on my keyboard and click on the Super One in there. This is my first camera shot that I set it before this tutorial and it works very well in this type of situation. So if you look at the environment, we have some type of grasses in there and in some place we can see the accident point with the water. So I want to create some type of hyperrealism render but I don't know how with only using Enscape for SketchUp. So I'm gonna fix my camera shot and the super one in there and close the uh, view management. So I'm gonna start my job with the visual setting so I'm gonna click on the visual setting and play with the field of view to reach to the best result so I want to cover this area in my 3D environment very simple and easy like that so I can type 56 degree horizontal and it works correctly right now so I want to use the uh, two-point perspective and use the auto exposure but right now these settings are enough for me so I want to click on the uh, Enscape asset library in here and use the uh, final update of the uh, assets for my job. For this result, I'm going to click on the uh, multi-asset placement, click on the uh, paint selection, change my category to the uh, vegetation, and I want to add some type of trees to my environment. For this job, I can change the uh, tags to the uh, trees, and now I can select trees very simple and easy. I really want to use some type of fine detail trees in there so I can pick this one, another one and for example this one. So now I only need to check out this surface in here and it takes a little bit time. So as you can see when I increase the density maybe I can see the changes but right now we can't see any type of changes and the result is that this house on the surface and it completely turned the detection point to the off point. So for fixing this problem, you can add your trees by your hand and it's really easy. For this job, first of all, change your perspective to the one point perspective. Move a little bit to the back side, like that, and turn the uh, vegetation single asset placement is on now i want to click on the trees and add my trees to my job so i start my job with this tree in here and i need another tree for example in this place another one in here another one near to the water and all of them affects your rendering very simple and easy i need some another fine detail tree for this part of the house, the middle point of the house, so I can use another type of these three in there and I can select it very simple and easy like that and use the rescale and rescale my job like this and click on the apply changes. So as you can see we completely do this job very fast and simple and it takes a little bit time of you for adding these assets to your job so i will close this press f on my keyboard and turn back to my camera shot something like that so i want to see more sky of my job so i'm gonna press f click on the uh, edit in the here and i want to add some type of peach for my camera shot so i will type eight degree for my camera and my projection is the two-point projection two-point perspective and the sum position is really important right now 
but I don't know how I can fix it. So I hold shift and right click on my cursor and change the time of the day something near to the morning for example. For example, maybe something like 7 can be good. So 7 is done for me so I can fix the altitude on the 15 degree and azimuth related to the sun direction. For example, I need some type of sun in front of my house or from the uh, right side. All of them is completely depends on you and what you want from the uh, rendering. So I want some type of lighting from the uh, right side. So some thing like the uh, 100 series 2 is good and click on the uh, save bottom in here. So now I will click on the super one in this place and I can focus more on my target so I can reduce the eye height in the camera. I can type some type of number like 2 to see water and reflection or some number like 1.6 for the standard result and increase the pitch option in here. So I can increase the pitch a little bit more like 15 and click on the uh, save. So I will click on the super one in here, all the things set for me, now time for the visual setting. I start my job with the uh, field of view, I can focus more on my house about some number like 48 degree. So I will turn on the depth of field because I only want to focus on this house. So I can play with the uh, focal point to reach to the best result. For example, I need this part of my house with the big window. So 30 meter is good and depth of field is some number about 16%. I will turn off the auto exposure and re-exposure my screen manually to see what happened. As you can see, when you re-exposure your screen manually, sometimes you can reach to the best result, but right now I want to use automatic exposure. So something about 46% is good. In the image bar, I want to use auto contrast for better details. And I want some type of cold, a little bit cold, because this render is something near to the dusk till down. And color temperature can be increased via 7600 Kelvin, and saturation is some number about 104 percent. So, motion blur is zero, bloom is not important, and lens flare is completely turned off. So, I will turn off the chromatic aberration and reduce the awakening number to the 14 percent. So, atmosphere is about fog and intensity of it. So I will turn the fog off because I only want to see the details in here and you can see the details are completely fine and wonderful. So night sky brightness is not useful but I can control the uh, sun brightness. So I can reduce the sun brightness a little bit. For example, some number like 40% or I can increase it to the 56%. Shadow sharpness, I need completely soft shadows, so I will turn it off. Artificial light brightness and ambient is not important, and wind is zero. In the skybox, we have more important settings, so I will change the source of it to the white cubes. Clouds density is zero, variety is zero, and cyrus amount is zero. So Countrail is not important and the output is something like the a JPG. So everything is done and I want to increase the rendering quality to the ultra mode and time for the uh, rendering. So this is the final shot that we have in here. So now I only want to adjust some of these assets for my better view. I will close the uh, SketchUp paint bucket in here and now time for playing with some of these objects. I want to take one copy in here, move it to the downside and turn it to the uh, right side, very smooth and easy like that to see what happens in my environment. Something about 10 may be good or I can 
move it a little bit to the back side to cover this area for my job as you can see something like that can be really acceptable so I need one of these trees near to the camera and if so I will turn it to the left side something like that to cover this area move it a little bit to the downside about two meter something like that and we have some empty place in there how I can fix it I can move one of these trees to the downside like that and now I can move it exactly where I want in my screen some place like this and you can see the changes and the result is wonderful so I will move it another time in here and a little bit to the left side a little bit and now I can rescale it for reaching to my target something about 1.2 is good and now we cover this area very simple and easy so everything is done for us if I want to control these shadows I can delete one of these trees and now we have better result in there and rescale another tree for better detail something like this so I can click on the uh, Enscape environment and now time for the uh, rendering so I will click on the uh, screenshot bottom in here desktop and save it as the Enscape file and press save as you can see we create some type of house in the forest with the high quality of the rendering it really helps us in different type of projects related to the landscape design so if you like this video please like and subscribe our youtube channel finally the result is there and i can show it to you very simple and easy i hope you enjoyed this video guys thanks for your watching thanks for your support please subscribe us and goodbye